Welcome back to another episode of Family Table. I'm your host, Brian, and this is our co-host, Andrea. Oh, you want me to say my name? <laughs> and tonight, we're going to do pecan pie. It's an old classic favorite. We did tweak it a little bit. We were at the secondhand store, and it's the story about how we got the plate. Secondhand store, Goodwill. I don't know if you have one where you're at, but um, we got it there at a discount, at a real decent bargain. We thought it was nice, so we went and bought it. We've done this pie a few times, and we this time want to do it on camera because I think we're pros because it is fire. Like, <laughs> it, it's really good. So we'll be back with you soon. Well, we're going to go ahead and get set up, and we will see you soon. Always remember to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when we're on. And if you have a comment, leave one. You know, if it's just to say hi, leave a comment and let us know what you'd like to see in the future. And we'll talk to you soon. According to the plate, for the pecan pie recipe, we need three slightly beaten eggs, a two-third cup of sugar, a dash of salt, one cup of corn syrup, and that's what we modified because at the time we only had a half a cup. And it actually, you don't need a whole cup. It's sweet with a half a cup, a third cup of melted butter, and a cup of pecan halves. You can add more if you want. Um, it's good either way. Uh, and then it, you see combine eggs, sugar, salt, add corn syrup, and melted butter. Mix well, stir in pecan halves, pour mixture into our unbaked pie shell, and bake at 350 for 40 to 50 minutes. And this is our pie shell. It was one of those frozen pie shells that we got. And then our homemade butter you see in the background. We'll show you how we did that. Um, we have seen it in another video. And we've been doing it ever since. Sometimes we still do buy some. But for the most part, we're going to have to show you how we did that one day. If you'd like to see that, let us know down in the comments below. We have our egg, our silverware, our corn syrup, our measuring cup. Our sugar, as I mentioned before, our butter, our pecans, our salt, and our bowls. As you see, Chef Drea is cutting the butter to fit for the two-third measuring cup that we have here. That might be all you need. Ooh, butter. So now, we're taking our butter. And we're putting it in this bowl here so we can melt it in the microwave. We're going to put it in there for probably about a minute. It may not even be that. It might be 30 seconds. But we're going to do a minute just to be on the safe side so we can get it melted. Boom. 30 seconds later. The butter is going to sit and chill all by its low so when it's private time. And we're going to put in three eggs. Because it calls for three slightly beaten eggs. Egg number one. Egg number two. Egg number three. Now it's time to, so they can get beat. Whip, whip, whip. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Now that they're slightly beaten, we're going to add the sugar. And it calls for two-third cup of sugar. So we're going to get our sugar. Look at that beautifulness. Whoop, whoop. Look at that beautifulness. <laughs> So the reason why she's doing it twice is because we got a one-third cup. So we do that twice to make the two-third. Two I don't know if it's right, but it worked, been working for us. So that's what we've been doing. Look at that. So pretty. And now, the dash of salt. Shapow! <laughs> the dash has been put. And just in case you missed it, it's Himalayan sea salt. It's pretty good. You know, we don't do a lot of salt, so that's why we have so much. And then... You mix it together. It says combine them. So now we combine them. And we're going to go ahead and whip, 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 mix, mix, mix. All right. So now we're about to combine the corn syrup. Like I said, we don't do a whole cup. We just do a half a cup. And we found that part of it out by accident when we thought we had a cup. And it actually was a half a cup. And it came out fire. All right. Here we go. A half a cup of liquid sugar. Mm -hmm. Dun 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 dun. Oh no. <laughs> that actually looks pretty. So we're gonna go ahead and get that out the measuring cup and then now we pour our butter into the mixture. Mm -hmm. 
and we're going to go ahead and mix that well. Get it all mixed in before we add the pecans. Here comes the fun part. So what we have here is we actually have bought these bags by mistake. They're snack portion bags. And we actually like them because if you want to snack and you're worried about your weight or whatnot, we you can portion it out, whatever snacks that you like. That way you don't overdo it. So we use that for the pecans, measured it out, and we got about a cup and a half is what we're going to put into this. So we're going to, well, she's moving faster than me. She already did it, but we're going to dump both bags and the pecans in there. And then we're going to stir it up. And mix it well and then we put it into our pie crust mix 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 stir it stir it mix 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 stir it stir it mix 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 stir it look that looks good if the egg wasn't in it i'd be like Oop, let me take a bite but eggs in it and gotta be careful so you know it is what it is but i'm gonna tell you trust me this is going to be bomb. It always is. Mm -hmm. So now it's all mixed up, mixed in pretty well. We're going to pour it into our pie crust. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It went to the side. It did a little tilt like it did last time, but it's all good because it, it was good oh my gosh but it's all good though because when it's all said and done it's gonna come together oh man so now we're gonna bake it at 350 we're gonna get all we can out and then we're gonna put it in the oven at 350 and we're gonna bake it for 40 to 50 minutes roughly about an hour and we will be back to show you the finished product and do the taste just so you we can show you how good it is. In the oven it goes. Dun, 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 dun. The suspense. Well, here you have it, folks. The big so the reveal. The <laughs> pumpkin. Oh, oh, no, not the pumpkin. <laughs> the pecan pie. Dun, 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 Do you hear that sizzle? Oh pie. wow, yeah I do. But that's the pecan pie. And we're gonna go ahead and let it sit. We're gonna rest it. And then when we come back after it rested about 10, 15 minutes, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut a piece. And I'm gonna give it a go. See how we did this time around. Alright, talk to you soon. Alright, so here we are, the moment of truth. About to get me some pie. And then the kicker is I got some butter pecan ice cream or butter pecan, pecan, whatever you call it. You wish you had some, but I got some. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to get a spatula to lift this up with. All right. Or a bigger spoon or something. Woo! <laughs> Look at that. We had to go and get pull out a big gun <laughs> to get the spoon to pull out the pie. For this paradise of flavor. The... Oh, I didn't, uh, wah, wah, wah. I didn't go down all the way. <laughs> it's all good though. Yep, I didn't go down on it all the way. See, it lifted up, just didn't go down yep. all the way. It's all good, it's all good. It is good Look at that, anyway. look at that, look at that. Good up in my hood. Boom. There you go. Second piece. Boom. 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 Look at that chunk. Oh, no. My butter pecan ice cream. It's all good because I'm still going to eat that. My counter is clean, so it's all gravy, baby. Boom. Look at that. At least hers didn't do it. <laughs> but it's all good. It's all good. Alright, so here we go. Taste test. I got my bowl of ice cream and pie. And y'all should know what butter pecan tastes like. The ice cream anyway. 
I'm about to taste this pie dough. About this pie. Let's fruit in the pie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I'm gonna tell you. This is good. You should try it. Mm. Mm. It's that serious. Mm. Well, I wanted to say thank you for coming, visiting us, spending some more time with us at Family Table. Thank you for being part of the family. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll know whenever a video comes up or even if we go live. And leave a comment down below what you would like us to see in the future, what you would like to see us do in the future. Or just even what your favorite dessert or whatever the case may be. And always remember, Acts 2.38 is where you start. Romans 8.28 is the reason why. It will keep you going. Till next time, family. Peace.